Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. This is Lawrence from Up Close with Lawrence. It's not New Year in my part of the world, but of course, it's New Year in Asia. My friends in Asia, Asia Pacific, hello. Happy New Year, friends. And yes, I'm wearing my my Happy New Year hat here, party party hat um, that I that we grabbed from the dollar store. <laughs> and today, what I'll be sharing with you would be my reaction to this mega trailer, Voltus Five Legacy. Honestly, friends, the minute that I woke up, went to my cell phone, YouTube, and I watched it several times. And honestly, I got really emotional, the positive way. You know, I'm a very kid at heart, and that's why I love Christmas. And um, I got really emotional because I'm just so impressed with the effects. Um, uh, kudos to, you know, everyone involved in this show. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Honestly, I'm so proud of this production. Um, and I know I did a reaction video yesterday on the costume, but... Looking at this mega trailer now as a whole, kind of like I didn't even see it. I didn't even see the my comment on regarding how the uh, costume looked like. Just because of in totality, it looks amazing. Okay, so join me. Let us um, do a reaction video on this mega blockbuster GMA Seven Toei um, animation Voltus Five Legacy. All right, let's do that. Look at this. This is the ultra electromagnetic whip. Just like what they did, it's like Transformer style, right? It's like Transformer style. Very nice. It is very nice. The CGI effect is amazing. It is amazing. Hey, okay. look at that. The top, wonderful. And the sword. Wow. Let's get rid of. <laughs> okay. And of course, this is Bosenia, I guess, or one of the moons of, of Bosenia. And to see this just makes it official, right? It makes it official. It's a partnership, right? Tell a success, of course. Nice set. It doesn't look cramped. It looks huge. And that's amazing. Of course, this this um, uh, scene here reminds me of the Star Wars scene and also the Independence Day scene. Wonderful, Sky Rook. Wonderful. That's a good scene, initial scene. Special effects, the flying saucers, amazing. Um, it's just giving me goosebumps again. Just looking at this and watching this right now again. It's just giving me goosebumps. Ah, oh, yeah. Look at that. And amazing though that they actually show here that it's actually all over the world. The whole world is being invaded by, by Bosnia, not just Japan. Paris, my favorite city. What is that like? In the Middle East or Texas? It says Makati. And the soundtrack here, the music, the background uh, soundtrack, um, it's amazing. It just gives you this kind of nostalgia feel. Last line of defense. Whoa, amazing. First shot of the beast fighter. I 
I like that but it's actually accelerating it's kind of like shaking like that makes it more real nice shot look at that and like the water part here it's alright but yeah I mean amazing CGI amazing CGI look at that oh to watch this in a big screen my god If that is Commander Robertson, is it Ra Robinson? Commander Robinson? Um, he looks young. You know. yeah. Like this. I really like this style. Like Iron Man ish, kind of. And yes, the costume is there. I know what I said. Nice. Amazing. Nice. The movement of Voltus 5 is seamless. Okay, it's seamless. And I just love what they did with the mecha. A more, uh, like a modern take on the mecha, right? Of course, you have to modernize it. Love the face. Love the stance, right? The stance. I love this portrait. This is amazing. And you can see um, just the effect of uh, like it's been it's gone to battle. Uh, you know, it's not shiny, it's not crisp and clean. It's not battle damage, but kind of like you can see all of this detail. It's just amazing. I love how they did it with the face here. Nice. And also how Steve also kind of like goes with a punch, like Dymos kind of. Boom. And this scene I love reminds me of Star Wars. Nice set. Nice set. Nice set. Okay. I mean, this is TV, friends. This is TV, right? But just look how wonderful the set is. You have the horns sign. Love the effects of that uh, laser. Nice. Whoever this actor is is actually playing this role very on it awesome. Wonderfully. I think that's the father. Not sure if this is. No, it can't be the mechanical ego. Love this shot. I love this shot. And I love this shot. Top Gun. It's just like Top Gun. Love this shot. <laughs> I love everything about it. Oh. Wonderful. Of course, like I said in my last reaction video, I love this CGI effect. Amazing. The combination of CGI and of course real people. Nice. Love this. This is like Star Wars, a scene from Star Wars. Amazing. Amazing. I think my favorite adjectives will be amazing and wonderful. <laughs> love, uh, love this and love this. Just look at this. It's like a scene from Independence Day, the second one. And this one too. Love that effect. Oh, look at the cruiser. Amazing. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. I cannot wait. Oh, mom. The mother. 
Mrs. Armstrong. Very nice. Very nicely done. Grab this. Love the set. Love Zandra. Zandra. Is it Zandra? Zandra. Of course, it has to be a loved thing. Love that. Nicely done. Oh, off to one. Boom. Nice. One of the bumps giving me goosebumps again, just thinking about this butterfly return episode of Voltus 5. Amazing. Oh, here comes the missiles! Bomber missiles! Frigate missiles! Boom, nice effect. Say. Yes. Yes. <laughs> nice. I love this scene. Eh? And I think there's a bit of a love interest here, of course. There's always a triangle, right? I think Mrs. Robertson is cast not perfectly as well. Same, same with Albert Martinez as Dr. Hook. I don't know if these planes are CGI too, I guess. Very nice. Nice. It looks real. First time I actually watched that scene, it got me emotional because... So that means kudos to the actor. These three young actors, they did an excellent job of conveying that emotion of losing a mother. Nice. Very nice. That headbutt is very nicely done. That headbutting is very nicely done. And I love the dialogue here. <laughs> love the set. It looks huge. looks big. Love the effects. Amazing. The saucers. It's done wonderfully. Perfectly. It's just like in the animation, really, but better. And uh, the right scale. The right scale. Look at this armada of Bosinian of, of, of fighters. It's just uh, amazing. It's like a shot from a Hollywood movie. Let's engage. Come on, come on. The webs. Nice. Very nice. Oh, of course, the classic Kalaban. I don't know the name, but the classic Kalaban, right? The Grasshopper Club. <laughs> nice. So, I think this is the um, scene from the last episode. So, I guess the reason why this series, CGI, is so much better from, uh, let's say, the other TV show, Darna, which I don't, I don't see it, but I get to watch it bits and pieces from YouTube. The CGI of that series, unfortunately, is quite dismal, actually. I'm quite surprised. So I guess it's when they actually finish filming the whole series before releasing it to the public. While I think the other one, they kind of film it and make the uh, CGI um, as they go along. Like they don't they don't pre-film it like a, like a, like the whole series in advance. I might be mistaken, but honestly, this CGI is 
it's just like nothing anywhere close to what Darna is like. Darna was like, Darna is like horrible, really. It looks horrible. It's like a 1980s special effects. Love that. Wow. There you go. The beginning of the V slash. Ooh, love that pose. Love that camera shot there, that angle. Nice. Wow, that is definitely a wow. <laughs> I just love. <laughs> Let me just have my coffee again. Friends, you know what, fans? Oh. Thumbs up and let's clap. Oh my gosh. Amazing, amazing, amazing. I cannot wait. Honestly, I'm going to subscribe. I don't know how to subscribe, but I'm going to subscribe to be able to watch this. Amazing special effects, honestly. And uh, I'm so proud of this, of this, of whoever is involved um, in this production. Oh my gosh. Huh. Wow. Anyway, so my episode ends here, friends. I hope you like this reaction video again from me, Up Close with Lawrence. Again, Happy New Year to each and every one of you, to my subscribers. Happy New Year. Thank you so much for your support and um, for the interactions and everything. I love that. Uh, again, no bashing. This is just my, this is just my <laughs> opinion. <laughs> All right. Again, uh, hopefully uh, I get to uh, see each and every one of you again in 2023. Tomorrow, that is. All right. Bye. And again, like I usually say, always be kind to yourself. Always be kind to other people. Love your collection. Love your toys no matter what they are. All right. Bye-bye.